Hey, welcome to an episode of the show. Now, it's the August uh, time of the year, and uh, if you're in Europe, uh, UK or in Europe, you'll find a lot of people are going off on holiday at this time of the year, and it can be really difficult to, well, s- sometimes get hold of uh, people for uh, setting up interviews, particularly particularly clients who might be away. And not everyone goes away, and of course, if you're on the other side of the pond, over in the US or Canada, you might not be so fortunate to be able to take a month off like uh, a lot of the French do and maybe uh, the Swedes do in mid-July and uh, a, lot of, a lot of the other European countries. But um, what can be really difficult for a candidate is getting feedback on your CV or your, your, your resume. So I just wanted to mention, look, if you, if you are looking for a role at the moment particularly and um, you have had your CV sent in to a company or perhaps even you've had an interview request and that interview then has not been scheduled now for the end of the month. I've seen that quite a lot recently. Now that can be really frustrating as a candidate because of course, you know, um, things can change very, very quickly. It can also change for the customer. Um, You know, the budgets might be pulled or something else might change or their just internal processes may change. So it's, it's really important when you've got your CV in, hopefully to schedule that interview as soon as possible. But all I was gonna say is, you know, if you're in this situation at the moment or you get yourself in this situation, please don't feel despondent. There's a lot of other candidates that are in exactly the same situation at the moment. And I would say really it's important to remain optimistic and to be proactive. And that means don't put your eggs in one basket, don't wait for that one role, to or that one interview to be coming off at the end of the month. Don't wait for that feedback on that one role or two roles. Take this time to be proactive every single day in making sure you're securing other interviews with other companies so you've got a few th- things, different things going on. So it's much better than if something drops, doesn't drop at the end of the month or that interview that's pre-arranged doesn't work out. Maybe they don't like you, maybe you don't like them, maybe the role's not suitable. You've also got some other irons in the fire. So I hope that's useful for you for August. There is still a lot going on. I think it's a bit of a mind shift where people think, you know, oh, August is going to be a blowout. I'm not going to get any interviews. But actually, you know, it can be a really great month. And in fact, we're really, really busy. But we're really busy because we're creating that activity. And as a candidate, you can do that too by making sure you're proactive and making things happen every day. If you've got a question, uh, particularly as a candidate, if you've got a question that you'd like to ask me about this, don't hesitate to call in on the show or you can drop me your number in the comments section and I'll be happy to call you up. If you're listening to this on iTunes, swap over to anchor.fm forward slash David Lawrence. Uh, Love to talk to you on the show. Hope you have a good evening wherever you are.